Hi there, it's Sam from poodlestartco.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one, and this is a little bag box with chocolatey, yummy chocolate foil treats in it. I don't know that, yeah, you can just see them peeping. I'll show you where we put it together. But it's so cute, and it uses the Easter Friends. And yes, this is the chick. If you saw my video a few weeks ago, kept calling this one a chick. Not chick, duckling, chick, chick, duckling uses this one and it's very cute and I've haloed it I think that's probably a made-up terminology and I don't know how well you can see but I've haloed it very slightly with matching grey to match this so this is smoky slate and it's one of our uh, background papers one of our core line designer series papers that come in six by six sheets so this one is smoky slate and this is um, blushing bride with little pearls so I'm going to do a slightly different version of it so I've got smoky slate here uh, I haven't at all I've got basic grey here so this is six by five and a quarter inches so 15 and a quarter by 13 and a half centimeters so you just you're taking off a little tiny section there so we'll start on the long side we'll score it at one inch two and three quarters three and three quarters and five and a half and that's all in inches in metric two and a half seven nine and a half and fourteen and then turn it round to this shorter side score it at one three and a half turn it over not round over and score it at four and three quarters and again that was inches so in metric it's scoring at two and a half nine turning it over and scoring it at 12 centimeters Okay, just realised completely forgot to trim down my white piece, but that's okay, I'll come to that shortly. So let's burnish up all of this. So I'm looking for the one that I did differently to bend it back on its whoopsie back on itself. So that's the the burnishing. So this is the one that where we turned over. So that's all of it. So this is my thin bit of the top where the score line goes in the opposite direction. So that's the top and this is the bottom. What I'm going to do with the world's biggest scissors, trim a tiny little bit off there and then the smallest rectangle at the bottom, cut that away. Okay, and then get some tear and tape. along there so that's going to fold round and then my where's my paper piercer to take off the backing fold that down and fold that and then I'm going to fold in the back and the two sides so I want to squash a little bit of glue on the inside oops, of those two tabs and on the inside of that bit. So fold those down and that down and I'm just going to drop my bone folder in there just so that I know it's all in place and all held down. Okay. Then I'm going to leave that to dry. So my piece of whisper white that I forgot to trim to size, uh, let me grab a bit, that measures two and a quarter by one and a half inches and for some reason I haven't written down the centimetres. So I'm going to set two and a quarter by one and a half. Hmm, so that's going to be, I need to write this down so I get it written down. Two and a quarter, so that's going to be six by, six by four. It's not going to be six by four. I don't think that's right, but we'll, I'm, I'm going to put question marks so that I make sure I get it right. But yeah, two and a quarter inches by one and a half. OK, 
Okay, and then I get my little chick, because it's a chick. This time I'm going flirty flamingo. So I'm gonna line that up. So yeah, the first one was um, Blushing Bride. This one, Flirty Flamingo. And I want to position it slightly more to the top. Ooh, yeah. And then while it's a little bit wet, I'm getting my um, Wink of Stella to just move that colour about a little bit. Get it on the move and you know we can have glittery chicks it's okay and if you need to pick up a little bit you can see what I'm doing pick up a little bit from the side of your ink pad just to give it a little bit more color on the wings and things and then with a scrap that's not exactly a scrap but it'll do I'm gonna come in with oh this might be a little bit on the dark side let's have a test shall we Let's see what this is gonna look like Stamp one of them and see what happens when I go round. That might be too... No, though, that's okay. It's not too dark. Right, so I'm coming in at the, t the edge again. And I'm just sort of, like I say, it's a kind of a halo outline. I don't really know what the terminology would be. Um, really just to bring the, the chick off the page more than anything. Very cute. Okay, let's zoom back and then clean off there. And this time, so I've got this ribbon which is Flirty Flamingo with gold. So I'm going to trim off a tiny little bit. Oop. And seal plus. Put my ribbon there. I would say that that's probably a kind of a different shade of flirty flamingo than that. That's a little bit more orange, but that's okay. So onto the front, so I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Oops, apparently I'm throwing them all over the place. onto the front and it's into this section here okay and it will fit just nicely and then I can put my chocolate eggs inside so I've got these ones I will leave a link to them for the both um, the UK and overseas I get these from Amazon in bulk and you could absolutely make sure that your colors suit whatever's inside or you could just go random and I'm just going to randomly get some out. So somebody asked me how many I fitted in one of my boxes recently. So I didn't know. I was just randomly chucking them in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight so far. And that, oh, that was a very good guess. There's eight that are going to this point here. There's rattle room. So I could <clears throat> probably fit ten in. Yes. 10 and it's no longer rattling so 10 little chocolate foil eggs and I guess you probably I don't know maybe a couple of hundred on a kilo don't know right let's get this closed off come on being brave bow tying twice in one week <laughs> Oh, I've gone all nervous and my fingers are all over the place. <laughs> Not the tightest bow, but it's going to do. Trim off the tails. And I put our pastel pearls on last time, but I'm not sure they're going to be the right colour. They're not bright enough. So I think I'm going to do... Champagne pearls, 
because they're sort of that slightly more orangey colour. One, two, and then a third one there. So yeah, those are champagne pearls. So, scooch that off. I think I prefer the original, but it's nice to see the difference. But yeah, very lovely, very sweet, perfect little treat if you've got to, if you've got lots of people that you do Easter treats for. Kilo bag of those chocolate eggs, some six by six paper, inexpensive gifting. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.